So let's do question number eight. So this is also an application of time and work uh, concept. Okay. So we have three people X, Y, and Z can complete a piece of work individually in six hours, eight hours, and eight hours respectively. That means X will take six hours individually to complete the work. The same work is done by Y alone in eight hours, and Z can do the same work individually in eight hours. We have the time taken by each of them to complete the work individually. However, only one person at a time can work in each hour. So that's a condition given. At a time, only one person is going to work in every hour. And nobody can work for two consecutive hours. Very important point. Okay, These are the two conditions given. So when you are solving these questions, you should always keep or follow these conditions given. So nobody can work for continuous two hours. And all are engaged to finish the work. So you cannot avoid anyone. So all, all of them should engage as well. And what is the minimum amount of time they will take to finish? So I need to find out what is the minimum amount of time they will take to finish. Okay. So first step we're going to do is we're going to assume a value for work. Total work, I'm going to assume a value, which is nothing but I'm using LCM approach here. Okay. Since all the individual times are given, I'm assuming the work as a common multiple, the lowest common multiple of 6, 8 and 8, which is nothing but 24 units. I'm assuming the total work is 24 units. And after that, the next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out the rate of X as well as Y and Z, the individual rate of X and Y and Z. Okay. So I'm going to find the rate of X. So the rate of X is nothing but how do you calculate the rate? Work done divided by the time they have taken. So I know that X is completing this work 24 units in how many hours? Six hours. So what is the rate of X per or per day work of X? That's what I'm going to do. So it's going to be work done is 24 and this 24 units is completed by X in how many hours? Six hours, right? So every day X is going to do four units per day. Four units per day. That is the rate of X. And what is going to be the rate of Y? Rate of Y is going to be Y is completing the same work, 24 units in how many hours? Eight hours. So the rate is going to be three units per day. So if Y is working, not three units per day, it's per hour. Okay, I'm sorry. Three units per hour. Uh, this also it's per hour. And what about Z? Z is also completing at the same amount of hours, eight hours, right? So 24 by eight, it's going to be the same three units per hour. So right now we found out what are the rate of these uh, individuals that is per hour work of these individuals. Okay. Now we need to manage how we gonna or how we gonna which strategy we're gonna use so that I need to complete this total work in minimum amount of time. So out of these three people, I know that X is the most hardworking person because X is doing four units. Right, efficiency of X is more four units per hour, and Y and Z they are they have the same efficiency. They are completing the same amount of work uh, per hour. So Y and Z doesn't matter. It's same as they are working. Like you know, they are same. They are working at the same rate. And so what we're gonna do is to find out the minimum amount of time. So we're gonna utilize maximize the time allotted for X. We're gonna put X in like you know maximum number of hours. That's a strategy I'm going to use. So that since X is doing more work compared to Y and Z, we're going to give maximum possible time for X so that the work total work is completed in minimum hour. Okay. So first hour, I'm, so this is the first hour. Okay. First hour, I'm putting X. X will be working in the first hour. So the amount of work done is going to be four units will be completed. This is the unit step. So first hour, four units is completed. The second hour, I could put either Y or Z, that doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm keeping it as Y in second hour and three units is going to be completed. In third hour, instead of Z, I'm going to, because the condition is a, a person cannot work maximum continuous two hours, right? So that means in third hour, I can put either Z or X. Third hour, I can, I can keep Z or X, but to finish the work in minimum time, I'm going to put 
a person with the highest efficiency that is x okay and this is gonna be uh, four hours i hope all of you understood the logic why i uh, used x in third hour right fourth hour i'm keeping z because it's given that all of them should be engaged to finish the work i'm keeping z that doesn't matter actually because y and z they are doing the same amount of work per hour right three now you can see a pattern again it's gonna be x and y goes on like that right so again let's say fifth hour it's gonna be four this is gonna be sixth hour is gonna be three right so total six hours completed so i can i can figure out how many units are completed right so every you can see a pattern every two hours they're completing seven units every two hours it's seven units so so total six hours how many units are completed six hours seven times three just 21 units are completed six hours 21 units are completed and the total work they need to complete is 24 how many units are remaining three units left three units left and this three units is completed by in the next hour right the seventh hour who is coming x is working and x in one hour is completing four units so definitely x will not require entire hour to complete it. so what is the amount taken by x to complete the remaining work is three by four because in one hour x is doing four units for three of three units to complete you just need three by four three by four hour is required to complete it so three by four hour is nothing but 45 minutes so the total time required to complete this entire work is nothing but six hours plus 45 minutes to complete the remaining one so six hours and 45 minutes option c is the right answer to this particular question